What's going on, everybody? This is Jason Thrift Trader. How are you guys doing this evening? I just wanted to uh, come to you guys with another live video with the death bin. Uh, I've been sourcing for the past week, and I've gotten, well, actually two of these, but we're only going to go through one of them tonight, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, Let's take a look at who's in the chat, get some shout outs, and then I'm going to go through uh, a couple of announcements, and then we're going to get started. So let's see who all's in here. Uh, Piper John, hey, hey, Money for Mars, Skits Emporium, Justin Pac-Man, what's up, brother? Emily Luli, Poncho Baldridge, Baldridge, let's see, Land Shark Picker, what's up, brother? Kool-Aid Kid, Lauren Catron. Jameson's Closet. What's up? What's up? Man, there's a lot of y'all in here tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Congrats on going full time. Thank you so much. So a lot of you guys that follow me know that I decided to pull the trigger on full time two days ago. So uh, it's awesome. I'm excited. Uh, I'm scared as you should be in any kind of venture like this. But uh, I have full confidence that I'll be able to do it. So let's see. Hey, first timer here. What's up? What's up? Thank you so much for being here. Mr. Deason has made it big time. Bearded Picker. Old Scott. Look, okay. Um, shout out to Scott Bearded Picker. That gentleman uh, is a stand up guy. Absolutely. If you guys aren't following him on YouTube, you definitely should. Hmm. Just subscribe. First time here. Thank you so much for the subscription. It means a lot. Just hit a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. So at some point in this video, we're definitely going to give away a $50 Visa gift card um, just as a thank you. And uh, it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, I'll give you guys a small hint. Uh, it's going to be a question on something that I posted on my Instagram. Okay. And I only have, I don't have very many posts on my Instagram right now. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find the answer. Yeah, Jennifer said it's a profit pile, not a death bin. Uh, absolutely. I actually considered, instead of it being a death bin, making it like the, the money pit, you know, making like one of my other bins the money pit, and then have I'll keep the death bin, and that'll just be where everything that I can't sell goes. And we'll go through that occasionally and let you guys know, like, hey, my mistake, don't buy this, you know, so you guys would know, don't buy this because it's obviously not going to sell. Wow, guys, there's 74 people in here. Thank you so much. Thank you to Casey Paris for the shout out. It means a lot to me. Um, absolutely grateful for that. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let's see here. The first announcement I want to give out is to Night Required Field for giving me this for Christmas. And I told him I'd drink it on my next show. So here it goes. This came from Mr. Night Required Field. If you guys aren't following him on YouTube, you should. Uh, this is Arrogant Bastard Ale, which I think might suit me quite nicely. Uh, straight from California. That tastes good. That tastes really good. Thank you so much. So when I get thirsty, I've got a drink. <laughs> Dirty Poor Picker said, OMG, you will be drunk for sure. I doubt it. Uh, great beer, Kool-Aid. Uh, Colorado Kid said. Oh, my goodness. Man, you guys are amazing. All right. So... I'm going to pan this camera over here to this side for just a second and show you guys the stack that I pulled out of this bin. Let me see if I can do it. Right here. Okay. So all of these right here are books that I've been picking. And uh, my profit margins are anywhere between $10, excuse me, to about $160 per book sitting right here. And, uh, I've just been scanning these in the thrift stores, picking them up. I plan on sending uh, a lot of the uh, faster-moving books to Amazon 
for FBA. And I'll keep things over probably 800,000, maybe 900,000 in rank, keep those here and sell them uh, merchant fulfilled. And then I've got this whole stack of books. Kind of hard for you guys to see right here. Whole bunch of them. And uh, let me get you guys back over here. Um, let me move these real quick and show you guys what else I picked up. Okay. Uh, I just bought a small stack of VHS tapes that I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, like, for instance, this, the thing, uh, believe it or not, this looked like it would be good. <laughs> Stretching to the classics. Look at this, guys. Is that... <laughs> Uh, Death Becomes Her, Footloose. These are all items that I've scanned and look to have, you know, I mean, I'm not going to get rich off of it, but 5 or $6 profit. JFK. Uh, with movies, here's Child's Play. With movies, uh, horror VHS actually sells quite well. Uh this was just a crazy cool find. I, I mean, okay, so I'm picking these up at the bins, these v VHS tapes. And, you know, they hardly weigh anything. It's 49 cents a pound, so I can get like four or five VHS for 50 cents. So I scan what I find in the uh, in the bins. And, uh, and I'll just bring them home, and hopefully I'll, I'll probably FBA... FBA some of them and Merchant fulfills some of them. I thought this was really cool. This is uh, Curly Top. Uh, it's a beta tape. So I just thought that was really interesting. Uh, Shirley Temple. What, uh, what was the copyright year? 1979. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, in beta. Um, also, something else, guys, definitely keep your eye out for brand new sealed blank media, like VHS tapes, cassette tapes, things of that sort, sell for money, because these aren't in production anymore. And I'm also picking up all this stuff in the bins as well. Some of this will go to an app called uh, Declutter. Some of it will go on Amazon, and some of it uh, will I'll just hold on to and lot up and sell on eBay. Um, so discs, CDs, I can't. I'm restricted from selling them on Amazon, but I'm picking these up at the bins, okay, for like ten cents a disc. And uh, you know, if I scan it, and the decl the declutter app on my phone says I've got that I can get 60, 70 cents for it, uh, might as well, you know, because that all adds up. You'll send it all in one ship and get a check from them. But um, I'm also picking up games, uh, Sims 2 for PC, uh, some PS3 games, PlayStation 2 games. Some of these actually have good resale value. Some of them, I'm just going to hold on to them and lot them up and sell them as a big lot on eBay. Uh, Bass Pro... Another CD, Call of Duty, Midnight Club 3. Uh, here's a DVD. It's going to go to Declutter. Uh, Nintendo DS game. Uh, Wii for uh, Mario Kart for the Wii. Star Wars 360. And then uh, this is another DVD that, that I'll send to Declutter. So, again, you know, this stuff... At 49 cents a pound, it's too cheap not to buy because, you know, I can hold on to a lot of the the games that won't sell uh, by themselves for very much and just lot them up and sell them in one big lot. Uh, of course, you know, per console. Uh, let's see here. Uh, man, I'm thirsty. What do you think? Okay. Oh, man. Jackie. 
Uh, I guess that's Sarah. What's going on, y'all? Okay. Uh, Terry asked, what is Declutter? Um, Declutter is uh, it's an app on your phone that uh, – let me see how it's spelled so that I can tell you guys. D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R. Okay, it's an app on your phone. You can scan media and books and uh, send – uh, send that to them. They'll tell you how much they're willing to pay for it, and you can send it to them in a big box. It's free shipping to them. <coughs> and, uh, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot. I think um, I think the max I've seen is like $6. But you got to remember, you know, where I'm buying this stuff, it's dirt cheap. So even if it's a dollar, 75 cents, 50 cents even, uh, you know, all of that will add up. Uh, you can just send a huge box and get like a hundred dollar check from them and it's free shipping to them. So um, I am not fortunate enough to, to be uh, ungated in uh, CDs and DVDs on Amazon. So uh, Skit said, Jason, if you find it easier or don't want to, sh don't want to ship declutter prices seem to match half price books pretty well. So I could – what you're saying is I could uh, take all this stuff to half price books and just get cash right on the spot. Is that what you're saying? Because we have a half price books in Oklahoma City as well. So let me know. Uh, Wayne said not all CDs are gated on Amazon. I can usually sell under $25. I'll have to double check that. It seems like anything that I've ever uh, scanned um, didn't really – you know, it, 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 it was restricted for me. I'm curious to know if they'll if, if they'll take everything that declutter will or if they'll take more. Um, that is uh, half price books. Sean Pearson said maybe we can hit a brewery next month. It's possible. It's possible. I'm down. Doesn't bother me. I mean, we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings and then we're going to go hit up the thrift store. Just like thrift mob the thrift store, so it should be fun. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the the reseller meetup for Oklahoma that uh, I'm putting on uh, mid January. So, um, also something else I bought, um, got this at uh, the bins. It's a uh, ResMed. Um, what do you call this thing? <sighs> Cannot remember now. Um, it's uh, for breathing treatments. You know, uh, now I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called. But um, you can't sell them on eBay, um, but I do plan on selling them locally to uh, to someone that uh, deals in them. I know that there's uh, – I was looking in the paper just the other day. Yes, I still look at the paper. I still look at the paper. Um, I was looking in the paper the other day, and there was an ad for people that buy these. So – uh, CPAP machine. That's right. That's right. CPAP machine. I actually have two of them. Both of them came from the bins. I paid like four dollars or something. Oh no, actually, I paid two dollars for this one. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what's this paper thing you speak of? CPAP. Uh, paper thing. Not sure what you mean. Ah, uh, okay. Um, let's see. I got a few other things over here. These were cool Ben's finds. Uh, 1983 My Little Pony. Uh, lunchbox, lunch pail, complete with the cup and lid. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Found that at the bins, forty nine cents a pound, guys. And this was really cool. Uh, copyright on this is nineteen fifty nine. Parker Brothers Incorporated colorful game from the pages of A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh, and it's in pretty good condition. Really good condition, actually. The box isn't crushed. Uh, I saw a sold on eBay for seventy dollars. 
There's a couple listed right now cheaper than that, but I don't think that they're in quite the same condition. Uh, Wayne said, guys, uh, or our, our half-priced books will buy books, records, and other media. Our prices are not much more on books. Okay. You know, I'm probably going to have to look into that because there could be some quick cash in that, you know. That's the thing. If you can find – see, I know some bins pickers that literally they'll, they'll pick at the bins and then they'll drive directly to Plato's Closet and sell what they can there. Or they know what Plato's Closet takes, uh, what they'll accept, and they'll just drive directly there. They'll pick just the stuff that they know that they'll accept. They drive directly there and get a check for it. So if you can find quick, easy profits like that, I mean, that's enough to sustain your business even. So. Plato's Once Upon a Child and Half Price. Yep, yep. Used to be my routine, skits and poem said. Nice. Yeah. I mean, if you're short on cash and you need funding for, you know, buying like good quality stuff, you can do it that way. Let me get a couple other things. Okay. I picked these out of the bins as well. And uh, they've got a couple of nicks, you know, but I've got to clean them off too. But they're just a, a pair of Yamaha speakers. The unfortunate event is I haven't found um, a model number on these. So I'm probably just going to sell them. On, well, I'm going to sell them on eBay, not Amazon. And uh, I'll probably just put them up for, you know, $30 and see what happens. Because I don't have a model number. Maybe. I was hoping the grill came off, but it doesn't. But yeah, at the bins. Okay, a few more bins finds. Uh, no, the cover does not come off of them. The grill does not come off. I tried to, I tried to pull it off, um, but it wouldn't come off. Uh, yeah, uh, Bill said Plato's Closet is what is what's been trending in the last year, and a half and a half, mostly teenage preteen. Okay, that's why I love estate sales and flea markets, bundle buys in lots, and negotiating with vendors. Yeah, so I went to a, an auction. It's actually, okay, like I said, what you're seeing here in this bin, well, I have a whole nother bin and probably the same amount of what you see here that I bought um, just last week. But this is all I'm going through tonight, okay? <laughs> it's already a lot. Um, but I went to an auction. The stuff that you guys aren't going to see, I went to an auction. I bought like 10 pair of boots and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but my my focus was on the boots and um, I paid $40 for the entire lot. Uh, the other stuff had several Wii games. Uh, one of the Wii games I scanned up and it's going to sell. Uh, I think it's uh Oh man. I can't, I can't remember. It might be Wii sports, might be Wii fitness. I can't remember, but it was one of them um, selling for $30 used on Amazon with a good rank. So that in a, alone by itself is going to give me the majority of my money back. So this is also things that I found at the bins. Um, Polaroid. This is a Polaroid one step. Takes 600 film. Okay. I thought that was a pretty neat find. If you, you find Polaroid cameras, guys, definitely take the time to look them up. Some of them can be worth a lot of money. These, these weigh hardly anything. If you find them in the bins, pick them, take them off to the side, look up the model numbers, see what you can't get. This right here is 25 bucks. I paid like 10 cents for it. No joke. Uh, this is a brand new Nike Amp Plus. Pick this at the bins. Uh, it's an iPod Nano remote that goes on your wrist. Okay, nothing special. 
but it's brand spanking new. Uh, I might sell it as used like new on Amazon, or I might put it on eBay as new. I'm not sure. And uh, I've actually been picking up a bunch of puzzles. Um, th these are Thomas Kincaid puzzles, and those can sell for decent money. You know, what I do is I pick up as many of these as I can find and lot them up in lots or five or six. So, and they're, they, they're pretty light too, so. So I picked up a golf club at the Benz, and this is a uh, Porsche Design Golf 9.5 degree PD901, and it's got uh, uh, the graphite rod. It's got a really nice um, grip on it. Nothing wrong with the grip. These things are pretty light, too, and I probably gave at most a dollar for this, okay? Um I saw a sold for $60 or best offer. I'm not sure what it went for, but I saw the only one active. They're asking like $200 for it. Uh, Dirt Poor Picker said, I hate puzzles. Too many say, hey, I didn't get all the pieces. I can understand. That's why I, for the longest time, I didn't pick them up. But uh, I have a wife and daughter that love to solve puzzles. They'll sit down and just do a puzzle all day long. And so I set these off to the side and tell them, hey, put this together, and if all the pieces are there, then great. I'll take a picture of it. How do you ship something like that? I got a set of handlebars I want to sell, and I don't know how to pack them. Um, you can go to a local... Um, shop that sells packing shipping supplies and uh, they should have a box it'll be like a tall square box or a tube that you could uh, possibly fit that in if not take it to ups and ask them to pack it for you <laughs> okay um uh, also what i picked up Uh, just a, it's just a CD collection, um, but I, I noticed I was flipping through this at the bins and noticed that a lot of it is classical music. So what I'll end up doing is just uh, making a list of these uh, these CDs and listing this entire thing exactly how it is with all the classical music that's in it. And uh, who knows who knows what I'll get for it. I mean, you know, a good collection of classical music. Ten, uh, 30 or 40 CDs long might go for, I don't even know, but I'm sure it's well more than what I paid for it. I probably, I gave maybe a dollar for this. Again, it goes all by weight, 49 cents a pound. Sometimes it's best to like think outside the box on ways you can make money. Like something that's not normal, you know, a lot of people sell CDs and jewel cases. Well, what about if you run across a whole collection of CDs? Stopping you from trying to sell the entire collection. Uh, and then this. It's an RS modem. Some modems can be worth some money. You know, this isn't that much money, but it's 30 bucks or so, 30 or 40 dollars on Amazon. Um, so I'll, I'll plug it in, I'll test it, make sure it's working. Wrap it up nicely um, and either sell it merchant fulfilled or FBA depending on uh, the rank and also depending on the competition. Uh, let's see here. 49 cents lucky. Well, yeah, it's just uh, it's 49 cents for housewares. So anything, you know, hard goods related, it's 49 cents. Um, however, the bins has told me that our prices are going up at the beginning of the year, which isn't surprising. It happens to uh, everyone every year. You know, goodwill retail goes up in price. 
USPS goes up in price. Uh, the bins go up in price. Salvation Army goes up in price. My Salvation Army is $8 a shirt now, $8 a pair of pants, $8 a pair of shorts. It's ridiculous. Like the only time I'm willing to go to Salvation Army and shop is on half off day. Uh, let's see here. What do you guys think? Should this stay the death bin or should I uh, change it to uh, the money pit? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, what is the bins? All right. You have Goodwill Retail, which is the Goodwill thrift stores, okay? And then you have the Goodwill Outlet, which is where everything that doesn't sell in retail gets shipped to, and they roll out these big bins full of product, just piles and piles of clothing and electronics and knickknacks and everything, okay? They just roll it on out, and people frenzy on over there and pick through it, and then that that's that's what the bins are okay and clothing is by the pound it depends on the bins okay because goodwill is segregated like as far as um the way goodwill is ran it depends on um the 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 area that you live in what am i trying to say it's it's separated in in regions okay like there's goodwill of central oklahoma there's goodwill of northeastern oklahoma um and so they're run differently. It all depends on the big bosses in that in that region. Hey, what's going on, Wade's Ventures? How are you, good sir? Guys, definitely check out Wade's Ventures channel, YouTube channel. That guy is a stand-up dude. Not not joking there. Um, he's helped me tremendously in my journey here on YouTube, and also as a reseller, he's giving me. A lot of uh, a lot of fire underneath my butt. That guy's a pretty awesome, dude. Okay, let's see here. Ready to go through that? Well, actually, you know what? All right, it's time. It's time, guys. It really is time. A thousand subscribers. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much for you know listening to me banter about all this crap I've been buying. Okay, so honestly. Thank you so much. And because of that, I'm giving away a $50 Visa gift card. And listen closely because this is the question, okay? The first person that write in the comments, I'll have them email me with all of their information and I'll send it on its way, okay? All right. Here it is. What boots did I find at the Goodwill bins that sold for $250 in two hours? Let me know. No. Boom. Stephanie Purdue got it. Nakona boots. Nakona boots. All right, Stephanie. That was very quick. Very quick. Okay. Um, Stephanie, please email me at the following email. Thrifttraderofficial at gmail.com. Email me your... Uh, your address, and I will get this put in the mail to you in the next day. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Awesome, awesome. Yes, they were Nakona boots. They were, let's see, they were an anteater skin. So it was like an exotic skin. I paid $2 for them at the Goodwill bins, and they sold for $250 in two hours. That's a lot of twos. Yep, thrift Trader official at gmail.com. Thank you, Treasure Hustlers. Thrift Trader official at gmail.com. Okay. Stephanie is the winner. $50. Good job. That's awesome. Scott said, I was subscriber number 999 and 1,000. That should be good for something. <laughs> that was thank you so much guys honestly if you enjoy this content if you enjoy this video hit the likes hit the like button uh if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that um i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing some pretty crazy stuff here in the near future as a matter of fact i bought a pair of 
uh, spy glasses. They look like regular glasses um, that have a video camera hidden inside of them. And I'm going to take you to the bins with me. Okay. So that's going to happen. Also, I, I'm looking forward to garage sale season with those. And uh, I'll probably be taking you guys to some uh, some auctions as well. Maybe even a storage auction. We'll have to see. All right. Let's take a look here. I hate to be a spoiler, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. And a lot of you guys have probably already seen them. Look, these are Gucci horse bit loafers. Men's Gucci horse bit loafers. The sale price on these is about $200, maybe a little more. I paid $2 for them. Picked these up yesterday. All right, so that's the spoiler because I don't think, well, there might be a couple of other things that reach near that in this bin, but that's that's about the, the best I got in this bin. I think I've got a pair of women's fry boots in here as well. Okay. Matter of fact, here they are. Women's fry boots. Uh, I cannot I cannot remember the style name, but uh, yeah, two dollars at the bins. Great find. This was the score of the day that day. Um, hundred bucks, I think. What's going on here? Oh man. Oh, man. All right. I literally just threw these in here, so I doubt that they'll be, you know, in order. I might be pulling one shoe out of here, okay? These are a men's Olukai. I'm probably saying that wrong. Olukai. And uh, this is a good brand. All right, Clark's Wallaby. This is a good brand. 50, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Okay, Clark's Wallaby. And it's got that gum sole on it too. Original Clark's Wallaby. Uh, this is a uh, emu. It's kind of like it's similar to uh, an UG. Emu. E M U. This is a pair of born uh, leather or not leather wool plaid flats. Well, not flats, kitten heels. When uh, when you're dealing with Doc Martens, you really like to see um, made in England. Down here on the sole, but this pair is not an England-made pair, but it's still a good one because it's it's called an eight-eye boot. Okay, so there's eight eyes on one side for the laces, and it's a little bit taller than the other boots, but these these sell pretty good. What's up? Hi, I'm sorry, I need these for the cookies. Nice. Okay. Uh, just a pair of combat boots. These have the Vibram soles on them. Another pair, but I've only got one in my hand right now. Move that out of the way. These are women's Vince uh, loafers. And uh, I think, yeah, they're made in Italy. Leather, leather sole. Leather top. Here's that other emu. Ugg boots. Okay. The soles are dirty, but here's the thing. I'm not going to pick up anything that I don't have to that I, that I have to spend more than just a couple of minutes cleaning. Okay. Um, I'm really just trying to keep you know the cleaning process down as far as time. And uh, and so that's that's really that's really what it amounts to because time is money. So when you're picking stuff, like you want to try to stay away from the really dirty stuff for the stuff that's going to take a long time to you know get ready for sale. 
May, name it Money Pit for sure. <laughs> uh, here's some Birkenstocks. Okay. This is all, this right here is all coming from my bins, my Goodwill bins. Okay. No joke. More Birkenstocks. More Birkenstocks. More Birkenstocks. These are L.L. Bean slippers. I've sold a pair of these for nearly $40 once. They're really nice on the inside. They're just uh, they're moccasin slippers is what they are. Guys, when you're looking at boots, as long as the bottom soles look good, okay, and there's not really any definite wear on the bottom, like worn through, everything else is fine. You know, as long as you don't have a bunch of big cracks in the in the leather. This right here, uh, paid two dollars for. These are uh, Lucchese, Lucchese two thousands, and they should sell for close to one hundred and fifty dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, uh, leather conditioner and saddle soap on this, and probably even some uh, uh, probably some brown. Uh, what am I trying? Brown shoe polish as well. So they should clean up really nice. Team Cuddle Slots said, I want to come help you organize and list. You're more than welcome to, if you really want to. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Again, look, I buy boots in, in all sorts of conditions because you got to think, you know, as long as the sole is good, the sole has to be good. If the sole is not good, it better be like a $150, $200 pair of boots. Um, so the reason why I buy them in several different – in what a lot of people would consider poor condition is because people are going to buy these just to work in them. Of course, if, if they're – I'm going to make them look as best as I can. But if, if they don't turn out the greatest, people are still going to buy them, not at top dollar, but still buy them to work in. Okay? This is a pair of women's um, – what brand is this? I think these might be – oh, these are women's Twisted X boots. Twisted X is another brand to watch out for. Let's see here. These rubber bands, there's rubber bands on all of this because uh, they, they do that at the bends. This is a pair of Johnston Murphy Chucka boots with gum soles. Pair of men's Merrill um, loafers. Here's that other shoe. They're kind of. Here's the other Doc Martin. This is a pair of women's uh, Timberland Gore Tex boots. These are in really good condition. Really good. I think they may have been worn just a few times. I mean, the stamping on the insole is all there. Everything. I think these may have been worn only a couple of times. Again, condition of boot, as long as, you know, the, the bottom sole is in good shape. Um. Leather can be reconditioned, guys. So just because it looks like crap does not mean it's crap. This is a pair of Durango boots. Uh, Durango Packer boots is what they're called. Here is a pair of 
pair of Justins, Justin boots. Merrill, Keen, another pair of Birkenstocks, okay, this is a uh, an Under Armour high top, all leather, It's right here. Lucky brand, all leather um, ankle boots or booties, whatever you want to call them. That's this is a brand to look out for, guys. When it comes to leather booties or boots, Lucky brand in women's does well. Man, seventy-four people in here. You guys, you guys are awesome. These look like they've only been worn a couple times. This is UGG um, slippers. I think the comps on this were like $40, $50. I'm paying $2 for these. That's crazy. Timberland uh, men's hiking boots. This is, uh, let me look in here. Okay, this is just, uh, this is Steve Madden. It's not a brand that I would typically pick up, okay? But in these tall riding boots, okay, especially if they're all leather, they're going to sell for $30, $40 right now. It's crazy. It's just the style that's in. Uh, let me let me see what's going on here. How do I know the Uggs are real? Um, there are specific tags that are in Uggs that uh, that will let you know if they are or not. Landshark said, "Are they a two dollar bill each? If so, I have some two dollar bills saved up, headed that way." <laughs> um. Yeah, it's a yeah. I'm paying two dollars a pair, so around two dollars eighteen cents after taxes. But uh, starting in January first, I'll have my reseller permit, so taxes will not be a thing for purchases. That's funny. You guys are funny. Uh, all right, let's keep going. You guys have already seen these. That's just the other. I've already seen this one. Okay. Vibram Five Fingers. These, if they're in good condition, can sell for a lot of money. I've got a pair that's solid brown right now up for over $60, and I have several watchers on them. Um when you look, when you find these, you got to look on the inside, and there's going to be a number followed by M or W, or before it'll say M or U, and then it'll have a number. That number is the uh, item number, so you can look it up on eBay and see what they're going for. Not all of them are the same, but a lot of them sell. I'm going to tell you right now, this was a bad investment. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, coach, uh, coach shoes. Well, here's the thing. Coach is, there's a lot of coach that just isn't worth money anymore. Um, they're like the newer release stuff is still worth money, but anything that's not, you know, fresh to the market, just it's, it's losing its resale value a lot quicker than it used to. Okay. So uh, my advice to you is when you run across coach, try to find the stuff that um, try to find it, uh, you know, comp it out before you buy it because not all coaches is, is good anymore. <laughs> 
Scott said, set them on fire. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie said, true coach doesn't sell well for me. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it depends on what it is. Um, some coach still sells for good money, but uh, it's fewer and further between, that's for sure. So should I have bought these? The answer is no. I'll probably get $20 for these if I'm lucky. And that's just not a margin that I want to play in. I'm not going to lose money, but I want to, you know, the time invested in that to me is worth more. Dansko, these are Dansko original clogs. All right, so this is a Danner. Danner is the brand, D-A-N-N-E-R. Um, Gore-Tex um, combat boot. And this was a pretty good find. It's missing the insole uh, or the insert, I guess. So I'll just have to put that in the listing that when they purchase these, they'll have to per uh, they'll have to buy their own inserts for it. So, but it's still a good find. Gore-Tex. Okay. I don't know. I got to do more research on these, but these are just in boots, but there's something different about this. It's very textured and it's kind of um, tough. It's either one of two things. It's either a print or it's either the hide of an elephant. And I've got to do more research on these because if it's the if it's elephant hide and not elephant print, um, these could be worth a couple hundred bucks. So I'll have to do more research. Okay, these are a pair. What is the brand? Dude, I don't even know what the brand is. Okay, this is how confident I am in these boots. All right, these are combat boots. They're all leather. Um, the This is all scuffed up pretty good right here. But there's a big tag that says Gore-Tex on the inside and Vibram soles, okay? I don't even know what brand these are. Oh, there they are, Belleville. Okay, so these are all leather Belleville uh, Gore-Tex combat boots. See, dance goes sell, doesn't matter the condition. <laughs> Y'all can have a death pile bonfire meetup. Oh, it won't be a death pile for, to for too long. It really won't. Uh, let's see. Cool boots. Give you four bucks for them. Ah, uh, you punk. You're a punk. What's going on? What's going on, Brick Quest? Thanks for coming in, guys. Man, 71 people watching. This is crazy. You guys are awesome or really stupid. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Night, that beer is good. Thank you. We've already been through that one. Been through that one. Here we go. This is a pair of Justin Gypsy boots. These are women's boots. Okay. A little bit of leather conditioner. And, man, these suckers are going to look really good. Soles are great shape. Great shape. I need to buy laces for these, but these are Patagonia. Uh, I cannot remember the style name. There they are. Well, it says Patagonia Velvet Brown. The number is 1560396. Uh, I looked them up. They were going for between $50, $60. They've got the Vibram soles on them. Really good shape. Uh, just a little bit of uh, leather conditioner, and these will shine right up. And then I need to go and get some laces for them, too. So. These were cool. These are men's bed stew. 
um, ankle boots. Bed stew is a good brand too, especially the stuff that looks vintage. Or, well, they, I don't know, they make it look vintage, okay? You can tell. Side zip. Already been through that one, been through that one. These are Banana Republic. I don't buy a lot of this brand. Um, really just the stuff that seems to be in style. Okay, this is a suede, like a green colored, I'd say like a dust green, uh, suede um, lace-up Oxford. It's got a rubber sole on it, uh, but it's really clean condition. Here we go. These are uh, Ranger Firewalker Men's Fireman Boots. So if you guys, uh, if you guys need some uh, firefighter boots, just let me know. I think they're size 12. <laughs> they're dirty, but they'll clean up. We've seen this one. This is the uh, Wallaby, the Clark's Wallaby. This was a cool find. All right. These are women's boots. Um, Tony Llama. Okay. But they've got like a crazy like vintage colored hide on them. And, uh, and they've got like a designed cap on the toe. So I think they're really cool looking in my opinion. So these will these should sell pretty easily. Um, these are Pecos Red Wing boots. Again, you know, pretty bad condition as far as the hide but a little bit of uh, leather cleaner, and they should sell. I'm not going to be asking top dollar for these guys, but, uh, you know, low grade, mid grade on these would probably be somewhere around the $40 range. You know, paying $2 and selling something for 40 bucks is a pretty good deal. These are Chaco sandals. Chaco. Is another brand to look for. They're kind of slow selling right now because they're out of season. But uh, here in the springtime, sales will pick up for them. Okay. This is a G by Guess. Okay. Um, not a brand that I typically pick up, but this was in very good condition. And it's in style right now. Okay. This is called an engineer boot when they have the, uh, the strapping. Uh, decorative strapping on here and uh, of course it's healed as well this is a men's vionic um what is it called it's called walk well no it's not men's it says walker women's okay it's a women's walking tennis shoe this thing has comps up in, in the 60 dollar range and it's in really good condition Here's another women's boot called Lamo, L A M O. It could be Lamo, hopefully not. Uh, Lamo, L A M O. Boots are hot right now, guys. Not for much longer, but they're still they're still selling. Pair of women's Uggs. Good shape. J Crew. Any leather ballet flats are what people are really wanting, okay? And so this is this is a leather suede ballet flat from J. Crew. Italian made, preferably. We've been through this shoe. Pretty sure we've been through this shoe. Uh, Roper 
it's another Western brand. Uh, it's a little dirty, but I can clean it up. And it's um, ostrich hide. You can see where the quills used to be. And with ostrich, there's different styles of hide. You have smooth, you have half quill, you have full quill. Okay, and this would be kind of this would be considered half quill. Full quill literally looks like a bunch of nipples all over it. I'm not lying. A pair of Danner Gore-Tex trail boots. That's camo and brown. Really good shape. Yes, gets its thrift underscore trader on eBay. That's what it is, guys. Thrift underscore trader. Don't have a lot listed right now, but give me a month. You'll see some craziness. No joke. All right. I don't know much about purses, okay? I really don't. I'm not going to lie. I don't use one on a daily basis. But I'm buying a lot of these to probably lot up, okay? I'm just going to lot up a bunch of purses. I know usually... A lot of people will only buy one purse to use. But, you know, if a reseller comes around and wants a bunch of purses, you know, I'm probably going to sell that lot. But here's a Dooney and Burke. If I'm saying it right, it's a Dooney and Burke. I'm paying $3 a piece for these. Here's another Dooney and Burke. Oops. Here's a Coach. This was a cool little find. Boulder Ridge is genuine leather. So it's just like a wallet. Okay, it's a long or a tall wallet. And, um, you know, I didn't pay hardly anything for this, but it's really soft. It's really, really soft leather, and it's really, really well conditioned on the interior. Here's a crazy cool. Look how tall that is. This is literally a knee-high boot. And it's made by Lucky Brand. Solid leather. Solid leather. All leather. And uh, this should sell for close to $40, maybe $45. All right. This is a – what is this? Well – Bob's Easy On Boot Protectors. Didn't know those were in there. So this is just a pair of Wrangler boots. These are leather. Uh, made in the USA. I believe them to be vintage. Not entirely sure, though. That's what the bottom of them look like. More Chacos. We're nearing the end, guys. Here's another pair of vents, just like those black ones, except this is a suede and, and kind of a tan color. Uh, these are Vionic sandals. These uh, these kind of have a like a cork color to them. Keen. Merrill sandals. These are Timberland leather uh, tall ankle boots. What brand is this? I can't even remember. Mia. Okay, this is this is a brand called Mia. Uh, not a brand that I'm too crazy about, but it's the style that I really like. It's called an engineer boot. See how this is? It's usually got this circle style pin here, and it's got um, straps that go all the way around it. It's called an engineer boot. Uh, 
Uh, this is another pair of Keens. All right, this is crazy. I want y'all to really look at this and tell me if you guys would pick this up due to condition. I don't know if you can see it or not. You see this? Look at the color. And tell me if you would pick that up. See that? Would you pick that up? Let me know. We're going to have a short conversation about this. Jameson said, nice haul. I never find any of those around my area. I look. Yeah. Some areas it's difficult. You know, it really is. It just depends from one area to the next. I've been pretty fortunate, I got to say. Um, okay. Lauren is right. These were made to look like shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crap. They were made to look like crap. This brand is called Bed Stew Cobbler Series. And they uh, were made to look distressed and vintage. So, with that being said, while a lot of people would not pick these up and think, man, these are worn out. These things sell for close to $70. So just knowing that, and knowing that it's made to look like crap, uh, you can make a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah. Beds too, cobbler. They're women's ankle boots. Well, I don't know if they'd be like they're like booty heels is what they are. Uh, cobbler series. Beds too. B-E-D-S-T-U. I'm not sure if they're anthropology. I'm not sure. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. I don't want to drag this out all the way. Okay. We've already been through this. Uh, this is this right here is a pair of men's Alfani uh, boots. They're uh, suede and soft leather. Alfani is not a brand that I would typically pick up, but again, it's the style of boot and the quality of the material that's used to make it. Um, I don't suggest buying, paying like six, seven dollars for this. Okay. But if you can get them for two bucks, yes. Because the difference between two bucks and seven dollars may not seem like a whole lot in the end, but that's five dollar profit difference. Okay. And these will probably sell for around thirty dollars. That's kind of my, that's, that is my low end range when it comes to picking up shoes. To sell low end is 30 bucks. I don't want to sell a pair of shoes for, for less than 30 if I can manage it. That's including shipping. And we'll talk about shipping here in just a second, too. I've got a couple of tips. Dang. Well, if that did work, it may not now. But we're good. All right, this is a pair of Justin boots. No. Yeah, uh, diamond Justin boots. Men's. This was a crazy find. This is like a $120 pair of boots here. This is a Justin boot, but the difference is this is smooth ostrich leather. It's really smooth. And, um, you know, ostrich and other exotic skins increase the value of a boot. So anytime you're in the thrift store and you're looking for boots, if you see a leather that's not, you know, the average, take a closer look. Uh, we went through this G by guest.
All right. This is a, a pair of Timberlands, women's Timberland boots, ankle boots. Dansko, crazy snakeskin design. These are occupational shoes, guys, okay? So you'll see nurses wearing these, and you'll see people that work in uh, the restaurant business also wearing these. Uh, this is a Johnston & Murphy um, leather loafer. With Johnston & Murphy, just look up the number that's on the, the back of the tongue here. And these are like $40, $45 pair. A lot of these we've already went through. Just the the other the other one. Okay. Um, uh, how do I say this? Allegria by PG Light. It's another um, occupational shoe. Okay. Nothing special, but easy thirty thirty five bucks. Again, I may not have. Done the right thing picking these up, but uh, nope. I can tell you right now, I did a bad, bad deal. These are two, <laughs> these are two separate shoes, people. Don't do this. <laughs> See this? I picked this up because they were uh, strapped together, right? Coach sandals. But look, and the straps are different. So, ha. Huh. Don't do that. It's a waste of two bucks. Now, I know some people be like, ah, oh, well, you could sell them as amputee sandals. And I'm like, eh. I know I could, but I'm not going to. Um, Via Spiga. For some reason, this brand is very big in boots. Like, I had a pair of Via Spiga boots go for 50 bucks a few weeks ago. So... Through that, through that, through that, through that. Here we go. Here we go. All right. A few more. Just a few more here. Okay, these are. Jordan Flight Speed. Um, it's called uh, Band. Jordan Flight Speed Band. Not in terrible condition. And I think these comped out at close to 50. And these need a little bit of cleaning done to them, okay? But... Uh, Naot, N-A-O-T. Um, this is a men's sandal. I think they're like size 12 or 13. But uh, Naot is another brand to be looking for. Then you have this. is leather, just a leather, a small, short boot. Uh, Bjorndal, B-J-O-R-N-D-A-L. Bjorndal. And it's just a leather suede boot, women's. And then this was, uh, this boot is made by Big Buddha. And it's a women's boot. It's more of a fashion boot. It's not a work boot, okay? It's a fashion boot. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. And that's it. We got through the de the death bin. We got through it. Nope, I lied. Uh, here's a pair of LL Bean um, men's loafers. So there, we got through the death bin. All of that, all of this, every bit of this, a hundred percent of this came from the Goodwill bins in my area. So, what'd you guys think? Mint Nat. Okay. 
Um, but I sure as heck sell the crap out of Dansko. Yeah, it's a good brand. Here, let me get you guys back with me here. Congrats on the thousand subs. Thank you so much, guys. Seriously, uh, it's it's been amazing. It's it's been an amazing journey so far. Um, I started this channel February of last year, or the, uh, February of this year. I mean, um, and we've come a long way already. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Uh, I hope to keep providing valuable content for you guys, and and I'm going to be documenting my journey as full time now as of like yesterday. So you guys will get to see how that goes for me. So a lot of you guys may have seen my plan uh, video, but if you didn't, my plan is really books for Amazon, electronics for Amazon, clothing and shoes and accessories for eBay and Poshmark. That's kind of my big deal. Um, and then, of course, for just quick, easy cash media, such as DVDs and CDs, to declutter or halfpricebooks.com as well. Uh, Jameson asked if I have, if I'm going to have scheduled weekly hauls. That depends. I want to. I may just do like. The problem is the only reason why I'm guess I'm thinking about not is because I tie up my inventory until I have the haul video. You see what I'm saying? So what I might end up doing instead of it being a live haul, maybe I'll do a recorded haul and post it. I can do that. As far as scheduled anything, I would like to have like scheduled what sold videos. Um, that way you guys can see that I'm not just full of crap and saying I'm making money. You guys can actually see what I'm selling. Um, because I think that's important, you know. Haul videos are important too because you get a you get an idea as to the brands that I'm buying. But it's also important to see what I'm selling too. And I'm 100% transparent. Absolutely. 100%. I think your bins are awesome. Closest bins to me are one and a half hours away, and they suck. But I did score some good stuff at a couple of thrift stores today, just not at the bins price. Yeah, you know, I mean, it just depends from, from area to area. And the thing is, is my bins know they have good stuff because they see me there all the time with huge baskets. And uh, they're going up in price. So it's catch-22. Um, guys... If you got if you have any questions for me, definitely put them in the chat. Now that uh, we've we're done with the haul, and uh, I'm good with uh, with talking with you guys. So if you have any questions for me, just throw them in the chat. Uh, I subbed a couple months ago and have enjoyed your videos. Congratulations on your 1,000 subs! Thank you so much, and thank you for being a subscriber. Uh, it means a lot to me. It really does. Really does, and I hope you guys uh, see a benefit in this channel. That's that's the whole purpose for me doing it is to help you guys. Um, but as far as scheduling hauls or scheduling any videos, I do want to start working on a schedule. I'll have to talk with um, a lot of the other reseller YouTubers and kind of find a schedule that fits in between theirs because. Obviously, I don't want to uh, hinder or go live when somebody else is, is typically on as well. Skits, I'm not entirely sure how much they're going up. Oh, Scott. All right. So Scott the Bearded Picker said, uh, how bad is your sad little football team going to lose by Saturday night? Well, I got news for you, buddy. Tide stops with me, and OU is going to kick the heck out of Alabama's butt. I hope. Well, I mean, it's going to be a really close game. I'm not going to lie, but I hope that we, I hope that we put on a good show. If we lose, you know, it happens. But 
I don't want to. I don't want to lose. Quest boots, women's pack boots. Quite possible, Bill. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Quarterback's not sick. He's good. He's good. I've only sold a few items so far that I have uh, an item I shipped priority, and it's not showing delivered. Should I contact the buyer? Uh, okay, so did you – if, if – uh, you should have uploaded the tracking to eBay, so you shouldn't have to contact the buyer. The buyer has the tracking number. They can check on it themselves. Hey, enough of that roll tide crap. No more. No more, no more. <laughs> okay, hey, something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, as far as shipping shoes, I've been testing the waters with this, and it seems to be doing just fine, Okay. I'm shipping shoes in a 12 or a 15 by 12 poly bag if they fit. And uh, I'm using um, a third party shipping application called Pirate Ship. And the thing is, you get USPS cubic based pricing from Pirate Ship. And a 15 by 12 poly bag for me, I mean, I again, I kind of have a little bit of an upper hand here because I'm in central, the central US here in Oklahoma. But most of the shoes that I can fit in a 15 inch by 12 inch poly bag are shipping for seven dollars 49 cents priority. So you can let that soak in. That's pretty good for a pair of shoes. Um, if it's small enough, I'll put it in a padded flat rate. But that I always ship shoes priority. If it's lower, if it's smaller, like sandals and stuff, if they're Lighter than a pound, I'll ship them first class. Uh, let's see. Well, guys, oh, you's gonna win Saturday. That's what's gonna happen. That's really what's gonna happen. Man, I'll tell you what. Seriously, uh, guys, it's been a pleasure. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I think this is probably the most viewers I've had in one live show. Uh, and I'm excited about it. Thank you so much for being here. And um, anybody got any more questions? Because I'm about to sign out. What do you say? Let me see. Do, do I bag them up before they go in the poly? No, Bill, I just uh, I just put them in a the bag. Of course, I, I make sure that inside the bag they're, you know, together well and they're not going to, you know, turn and flop around inside that bag. And when I when I pull the when I pull the sticky tab, I make sure that that bag is good and tight when I seal it. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it. It's 1030. It's been literally like a, an hour and a half. It's been 1020. It's 1020. It's been nearly an hour and a half, guys. It's been a pleasure. It's been fun. Please, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe. You can find me on Facebook um, at uh, my Facebook group, eBay Sellers Anonymous. You can also follow me on Instagram at thrift underscore trader. Definitely look for awesome stuff coming from me in 2019. Uh, I'm excited to do it, and I'll let you guys uh, in on updates, what sold videos, let you guys see what kind of books I'm selling on Amazon, see what's selling on Amazon, see what's selling on eBay. I'm going to be showing you guys the entire way, and I'm going to kill Scott before the night's over. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Uh, and, and until next time, keep on picking that trash and making that cash. We'll see y'all later.